Cruel Intentions 1999 Movie Review. Hey what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I want to do a little movie review on Cruel Intentions from 1999. Now, normally when I do a movie review, I write up a bunch of pros and cons, but today I'm just going to be shooting from the cuff. So Cruel Intentions was a movie that I first saw, I want to say like 2009, 2010. So it had been about 10 years since it came out. And to be honest, I've always really enjoyed Cruel Intentions. I've revisited it probably about four to five times and every single time I do enjoy it. It has been a long time since I've seen it. I mean, at least five years on this rewatch. So watching it again, it is pretty dated. And when I first watched this movie, I was kind of like the age of these characters, but now I'm much older, but I still remember that time period. I'm just gonna be saying right off the bat, I am gonna be giving some spoilers here, just so you're warned. This is like a 23, 24 year old movie at this point. So Cruel Intentions is a very, very dark sexual movie. I don't know, I'm kind of picky as far as like sexuality in movies. Like it has to be done a certain way. And I don't know why, I just really, really enjoy this movie. It's just very adult. I feel like they don't hold anything back. Um, I don't feel like there's very many movies that are very similar to this one. It's kind of in a league of its own and it is so 90s. Yeah, and there's just so many little aspects to this movie. I just really, really enjoy it. I found that um, the ending is really good. It's very, very dramatic. It's got that classic music. It almost has like an upbeat ending while being such a dark movie the whole time. Like I find that this movie is kind of designed to get under people's skin. I, whether one way or the other, it just is. It's just kind of like a slightly offensive movie, but I almost kind of like that in a sense because they don't hold anything back. Like I said, I don't think that very many people would get into this movie unless you kind of remember that 90s style vibe because it's 100% here. And if you like, you know, very, very sexual, very in your face movies, um, this one's just got countless innuendos and like literally I was trying to wrap my head around all the little sexual ideas and hints that they throw out. And I mean, there's gotta be like at least 50. There's just constantly just hitting you with like a weird sexual idea over and over and over and over. And to be honest guys, it's just very, very entertaining. Um, as far as things that I just didn't like, now it is a little bit dated. I found that Reese Witherspoon is a little vanilla here. I don't think Reese Witherspoon matches with Ryan Phillippe the best. I think that Ryan Phillippe vibes a lot more with Sarah Michelle Gellar. I think they're actually great together. So that was one little thing. I found that the makeout scene in the park was just a little bit cringy. I understand it's designed to get under your skin and they did this kind of in the late 90s, early 2000s. They kind of had these really long like lesbian kiss scenes, but it does seem a little bit out of place like right now. But again, this movie is designed to get under your skin. It is what it is. I feel like they had like a really good world building. And then once Sebastian kind of breaks up with Reese Witherspoon, things happen very, very quickly and it kind of wraps up. And I wish we had a little bit more time to let the, that area breathe. Um, I also felt like Sebastian's death was a little bit rushed. Um, he just basically gets hit by a car, there's no blood and he's just, you know, gone. So I feel like they could have gone a little bit more in depth there. Sebastian's dad and Sarah Michelle Gellar's mom are, you know, I guess they're dating and they're supposed to be on some vacation somewhere, but you never really see him. It would have been nice to have a little bit more world building. Um, Joshua Jackson was pretty interesting in here and they just kind of get rid of him by the, you know, the middle of this movie. So I just kind of wish there was a little bit more world building past that point. But to be honest, guys, you know, for what this movie is, a very, very extremely sexually charged 90s movie, it holds nothing back. It it pretty much is great. It has Ryan Phillippe and Sarah Michelle Gellar from I Know What You Did Last Summer. And it was interesting when I rewatched I Know What You Did Last Summer, or actually I watched it for the first time in like 2018 or 19, I was like blown away. I was like, my God, the people from Cruel Intentions were in a movie before and they were like dating in that movie. Like I was like, oh my God, I had no idea. But anyways, guys, for an easy, you know, sexual, not pulling anything back type of movie. And if you enjoy the 90s type movies, this is definitely one that I highly recommend. And it's probably, in this style of movie my favorite especially in the 90s and it's just a 90s staple i absolutely love this movie it's so entertaining a few little things are dated uh, a few little things are a little bit old and cringy but for the most part i really enjoyed it i'll give this movie probably an 8.5 to a 9 it's for a specific audience but hey i'm that audience right anyways guys we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace